What's happening, Vintage Breaks family? Welcome to the West. I'm your host tonight, Charlie G. Hope everyone's having a wonderful evening. Let's see who's trickling into the chat room here. Sammy was pulling some fire this evening. Hopefully we can have uh, some excellent luck here too this tonight. Everybody looks like they're switching over from the old stream to the new stream. Right, where are all the VB West people at? There's a couple more people coming on in. Get a few more folks in here, and then we'll go over all of the promos we've got. I've got six post-it notes out here tonight, guys. Lots of stuff going on. All right, who do we got watching here tonight, guys? There's, there's Sean. We got at least one person talking. What's up, Steve? I got, there we go. People are starting to roll in a little better now. I got six of you out there. Sean and Steve, you guys having a good night? Hey, what's going on, Craig? Nice little bit of a drizzle we got here today. Unfortunately, that means it's going to be 107 and 100% humidity tomorrow. Uh, that's no bueno, Steve. All right, I think we got enough people in the, the room. We'll go ahead and start going over the promo action we have on the West this evening. First off, we've got the $20 card pile. Every $20 you spend, you'll get a card from the pile. First one off the top is a really nice looking Steve Carlton. So the first person said 20 will get that. Then a Steve Garvey, Willie Stargill, Tommy John, so on and so forth. There's some. There's a couple modern cards in here, modern and vintage kind of mixed together. So every $20 you spend, you'll get one of those. So if you spend 100 you'll get five. I also have a stack of packs I dug out. Every $25 you spend, you'll get a pack. First person at 25 will get a 92 Stadium Club Tops pack. Then after that, it's hockey packs, 91 scores, and then some 90 pro sets. So if you spend 100, you'll get four of those, and you'll get five of these. First person to make a purchase, um, I dug up this random Tim Stoddard uh, PSA 8 Orioles card. So... Get, buy anything on the website. First person to buy will get that guy thrown in. 
Don't know where he came from, but he was in my VB to give away pile. That's here. We'll skip over that for now. <clears throat> we also have a $10 at 100 entries. 100 entries at $10. When we sell that out, first person on that list will get a 1956 baseball set break spot and two BAM spots. Second place, we got a 1975 mini set break spot and a BAM spot. Third place, we got a 1971 set break spot and a BAM spot. And the butter position, last place, we got a 1975 set break spot and two BAM spots. We also have the Vintage Breaks West $3 all night promo. Every $3 you spend, you'll get an entry. We'll randomize that list at the end of the night. First place, we got a $50 break credit. And the last post it note I've got going on this evening is a bounty on 1975 Tops Mini. We've got a 75 mini pack. Last I checked, there were six spots remaining. We'll randomize the list of names on who sell that out. So if you buy all six spots, you win all these six of these prizes or three of these prizes automatically. Um, first place, we get a 1975 mini baseball set break spot. Second place, we'll get a $15 break credit. Third place, we'll get a 1971 set break spot. And each, everyone, each one of those first, second, and third places will also get a BAM spot. And it's bingo night. So we have the bingo board for this evening to give us some goals for things we want to break. Whoever sells out a 79 or earlier pack Get their name there. 90 or later pack. Sell a basketball pack. Whoever finds a kicker punter card. Whoever finds a card from a Chicago-based team. Whoever pulls a goalie card. Soccer or a hockey. Whoever pulls a team or checklist card. Whoever pulls a catcher card. And whoever sells out a wrestling or a Star Wars pack. We brought it down from last time we played. We only have nine packs. We're looking or nine goals instead of 10 so our prizes this evening ever all everyone gets a bam spot first place we'll get a 56 baseball set break spot second place we get a 55 baseball set break spot third place we get a 75 baseball break set break spot and fourth through 10th we'll all get 71 baseball set break spots and that's what we have going on today in the west hopefully there's some things in there that you guys are interested in got lots of stuff going on here our first order of business, this will not count towards the bingo card, is we're going to break this POTUS box uh, because it was sold out earlier and the, it doesn't look like, oh, hold on, i got to turn on my volume here. Looks like the North was out of stock of this and I have a couple, pack, a couple of the boxes. So we're going to break this first this evening. As always, if you sell something out, please let me know so I can get it broken for you. The VB West tab was updated before I went on air, so it should be, should be, should, should be pretty accurate, but you can always feel free to ask before you buy. Also, I'm expecting the FedEx delivery today for my inventory update. Unfortunately, FedEx hasn't delivered yet today. And I'm still waiting on them. So if I uh, have to run away real quick, it's probably because the FedEx guy's at the door and i got to sign for that package. So what are you guys all up to tonight? Got this pack set up here, box. POTUS Blaster. Hanging out with me. That's the correct answer, Sean. I like to hear it. That is what I like to hear. Get this all ready to go here.
Must see TV. That's right. <laughs> That's actually a personal for Justin Rich. Where's the father son combo at? I'm gonna break this. He's not gonna want, not gonna be here. Well, we'll get going here. Hit the break. This is uh... He's been wanting. He's been wanting us to break this for a while. Get his name up here. All right, we'll hit the break button. You ready to drop the POTUS knowledge? All right. Let's get this one going here. Hopefully Justin hops in here real quick. Welcome to Vintage Breaks. I'm your host, Charlie G for Vintage Breaks West. And tonight, we're breaking a 2020 POTUS Blaster Box. Number 21, it's got to be a personal for Mr. Justin Rich. We're looking for cut autos and DNA samples. Uh, these supposedly have a hair and fiber and who knows what else is them. I, this will be the first one that... VB West is opened. The North has opened 20 of these already. So let's see what we can find. There's Justin Rich. What's going on, my man? Yeah, the North didn't have any more of these Justins, but I have some in my inventory. So we got you covered here in the West. Let's see what kind of uh, DNA samples we can get for you. We'll save that pack for last, and we'll run through these guys here. Yeah. Good luck, sir. I think this is pretty much auto or whatever or bust. Let's see, we've got the Compromise of 1877, the Spanish-American War, Thomas Jefferson, the Monroe Doctrine, Ulysses S. Grant, 15th Amendment, Lyndon Johnson, Ran unopposed with Monroe on it. These cards have a nice, weird little bend to them. Uh, Millard Fillmore in the Truman Doctrine. Don't know if you, that picks up my camera very well, but the cards are a little bit curled. But that's your first pack. If you want me to show any of those close up, let me know. But I'm pretty sure this is just signature auto or bust type of product. <laughs> Yeah, I, 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 they're pretty well sealed. I smell no decay yet. We'll see what happens when I open up that last pack. All right, we've got Latin and Greek. Nobel Peace, Nobel Peace Prize, NASA established. First presidential assassination attempt. That's kind of interesting. January 30th, 1835, Andrew Jackson left the Capitol building after attending the funeral of Representative Warren Davis. Disgruntled painter Richard Lawrence stepped behind the president and attempted to shoot him in the back. The pistol misfired and Lawrence drew a second pistol and tried again when this pistol also misfired. 68-year-old President Jackson had to be restrained from nearly beating the assault to death with his cane. Lawrence was eventually found not guilty due to insanity and institutionalized until his death in 1861. Fun fact. Austin Manifesto. Andrew Jackson's got some really gnarly print lines, but Andrew Jackson. Washington Political Party. Teapot, teapot Dome Scandal. Uncivil Presidential Race. And Grover Cleveland. Pack two. <laughs> All right. First civil rights president, American Antiquities Act of 1906, James Monroe. First president photographed. Although we have a very good idea what our first five presidents look like, 
due to numerous portraits painting during their lifetime. The first president for which we have an actual image of is John Quincy Adams. This image was taken in approximately 1843, 14 years after Adams left the office. James Garfield, John Quincy Adams. Well, might be the closest we get to DNA. Wooden teeth photograph. Let's see here. There are five portraits of George Washington made during his lifetime. And he is not smiling at any of them. The most likely reason is that George Washington's dentures were made of ivory, human teeth, or animal teeth. These were ill-fitting and caused him constant pain. As a result of the pain, he only wore his dentures when necessary, and certainly not for a lengthy portrait sitting. The urban myth that his teeth were made of wood may have come from the discoloration of the dentures. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That's my favorite card so far. First president to live in the White House, James Buchanan and Chester A. Arthur. Arthur. These are pretty cool. These kind of remind me of the scoops with all, a little bit of information on them. All right, the next great railroad strike of 1877, annexation of Hawaii. James Madison, first president to lose popular vote and win the election. Rutherford B. Hayes, the Barbary War, the Slave Trade Act of 1794, Adams-Onus Treaty, Franklin Pierce, and the Interstate Highway System. All right, our final pack before the auto pack, or... I'm not sure what's the special pack, honestly. Never opened one. Mexican-American War. The Spanish-American War. Thomas Jefferson. Monroe Doctrine. Ulysses S. Grant. John Taylor. Lyndon B. Johnson. Another ran unopposed. Millard Fillmore in the Truman Doctrine. And the pack that we're all here for is this one, I believe. Three alloy base cards and one red alloy, f alloy first lady card. Oh, I guess, I guess the the uh, the autos and stuff could have been in those other packs. But maybe we'll get a red alloy auto or pair or something. Okay, well, do these the traditional way. First president born in the United States. That would be the first seven presidents of the United States were born in the British colonies. Martin Van Buren, born December 5th, 1782, when he took the oath of office on March 4th, 1837, became the first president of the United States, actually born in the United States. Next one, we've got the Nobel Peace Prize. We, I think we pulled one of the regular ones of that. I'm not exactly sure why those are called. Okay, Red Foil First Lady, Frances Cleveland. It's a cool looking card. All right, and our final card here is Woodrow Wilson. Yeah, Craig, I'm not sure if, what I would do if I pulled a relic card with human teeth on it. That would be a little a little strange. Be, be interesting. I'm not sure how I'd feel about that. <laughs> All right. Justin, this wraps up your personal 2020 POTUS Blaster Box 21. Thank you for watching. Rookie wooden teeth. That's a, that's a pretty cool product. I like that. It reminds me a lot of the Scoops product. Wrapped up here. I do have another one of those boxes here, Justin. If it's not on the website, let me know and I'll put add it. But if you want to take another crack at it. Oops. 
Alright, let's see if anybody's taking me up on any of my promo action that I offered this evening. Looks like we've got a taker or two. Looks like, looks like Craig is the taker. Craig gets a 1986 Donruss Wax Pack. It looks like uh, sold that one out. So for your purchase, you'll get... Craig, you'll get a, the Steve Carlton and the Steve Garvey. You also get the 92 Stadium Club pack. And as the first purchase, you'll get this PSA 8 Tom Stoddard card. Congratulations, sir. in a baggie. Like the card called an auto. All right. I like it. Let's go, Mr. Spellman. Let's see here. There it is. 1986 Donner's Wax Pack. This set up here. <laughs> Sean, you're you're if, if we ever do a vintage breaks trivia team, um, you're on my team, man. This is not quite a personal for you, Craig. Travis Cool has one spot. Let's see what we can get here, guys. Welcome to Vintage Breaks. I'm your host, Charlie G from Vintage Breaks West. And tonight we're breaking this 1986 Donruss Wax Pack number 41. We're going to randomize our list five times. Good luck to Craig McDonald and our one-spot hero, Travis Cool. One, two, three, four. And on our fifth roll. All right, Travis Cool's getting spot 13, lucky 13, and Craig McDonald is getting the rest of the pack. Let me get the names on the screen. We are good to go. Good luck. First card for you, Craig, right here. Get rid of the puzzle card. All right. First up, we've got Jerry Kuzman. Any sleeves a little misshape. There we go. Jerry Kuzman. Oral Hershiser. Again, all these but spot 13 are headed to Craig. Centering's pretty good on these. Oops. I say that and then the centering goes off for Tim Wallach. 
looks like it returns better next card. Remember, we're looking for a catcher team's card. Chicago team, so White Sox or the Cubbies. Ron Romanek. Tom Filler, spot five. Well, we've got a nice one coming up here in spot seven, but spot six, we've got Gary Redus. Redus? Redus? I don't remember him. A Donnie Baseball. Fortunately, Donnie's pretty far off center in spot seven. He's looking super young. Cesar Sedino in spot eight. All right, Mr. Spellman. Rich Bordy. Rick Camp. Sneak it up on Travis's spot. This is spot 11. Andre Thornton. Mark Langston, spot 12. Now our one spot here, Travis, did hit a rated rookie. Unfortunately, it's the rated rookie of Lance McCullers. I'm not sure what Lance is up to these days, but probably not living off of his baseball uh, millions. That was for you, Travis. Then we got Teg, Teg, Ted Higuera, spot 14. And last, this car in the packs got this sort of weird, maybe crease. I don't know what's going on in the back there. Dave Collins, rocking the '80s glasses, and that's going to wrap up our 1986 Adonis Wax Pack 41. Thanks to everyone watching. I'm going to flip through this real quick to make sure there's not a catcher Chicago or Chicago card. Phillies, L.A. Let's see, Kuzman was a pitcher. Your horse has pitcher, third base, pitcher, pitcher, outfielder, first base, outfielder, pitcher, pitcher. This is a very pitcher heavy pack. Doesn't need hitter. Pitcher, 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 pitcher. Yeah. No Cubs. No White Sox. No catcher card, no team cards. 1826 Donruss. 41. Yeah, Donnie Baseball is a good card, just uh, a little off center. Definitely the probably the best card out of that pack. Laverne, it's next up here. Laverne took down two spots in the 1975 mini pack, so we should have four more spots to go in the mini pack. So, get two spot in my uh, uh, bounty. Remember, guys, the 1975 mini pack bounty. First place will get a 75 mini set break spot. Second place will get a $50 break credit. Third place will get a 1931 set break spot. Plus, everyone gets a BAM spot, or those three places get BAM spots. So, we put Laverne down here for this. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. And for your purchase, Laverne, you're getting a Willie Stargell 71, Tommy John 80, no, 78. These are all kind of loved. A Sparky Anderson 72. A modern Charlie Blackman number to 99. Not sure what year that is, but Charlie Blackman. And a Dave Concepcion 79 plus four 
Actually, you get all four 91 hockey packs. I apologize if I miss your chat if it shows up on, on this list if you're on Facebook or some other platform. It's um not used to looking at that kind of list yet, so if I miss it, I apologize. Just um, repeat yourself if you wouldn't mind. I've got YouTube down pretty good, but that one's a little tough for me right now. Or what do you guys want to break next? We still have all nine bingo spots open. That 1956 baseball separate spot's a pretty sweet prize. Yes, sir, Jeff. Wisdom is, um, he's doing it. Very happy with uh, his uh, his play. Well, I guess I could do a little little story time about a card I picked up since got a, little, a gap in breaking action. So this was the card I was talking about last week or two weeks ago that I was hoping to show up last week, but it, it didn't make it for last week's show. I bought this from a random live auction online. A little sketchy, but it was legit because the card showed up. This is a 1923 Willard's Chocolates, the V100 set of Johnny Evers. John Evers, beautiful photography. John Evers. Between SGC and PSA, only 12 of these cards exist. This is the rarest card in my personal collection now. In the SGC PSA population, there are only 12 of these cards. There are only five higher condition than this. But it's an awesome photograph. It's came in a chocolate bar, super sensitive condition. You can kind of see a little bit of the residue from when it was in the wrapper, but very thin material. And really what's holding back the grade is that it's hard to focus on the upper left-hand corner. Otherwise, it's it's beautiful. Yeah, real picture. It's definitely the, uh, I'd say, the prize of my collection now. That came in the mail the other day. I'll post a picture of it to the Vintage Breaks Bicycle Trade Board just to show it off. But I want to share, share with you guys first. Yeah, it definitely displays very well. I was very happy to get it. I think I got it for a steal just because it was kind of one of those oddball auction houses. Um, very happy. All right, Mr. Sean Dooley made a little per little dabble. Sean, I assume you didn't sell out anything with that purchase. There's only one spot. Of course, now that I've got that card, I now want the other Cubs V100 cards. So that's going to be added to my shopping list for Nationals. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to get any other card in that good of a pie appeal for as cheap as I paid. All right, Craig took another dip. All right, Craig got took down one more spot in the 75 mini. So we should have three more spots left in the 75 mini pack. So that'll get you a Denny McLean 69, a Juan Marichal 71, 
a uh, Randy Johnson, 89 Donner's rookie. And I'll get you the last two packs that I had sitting over here. Yeah, it's Evers or uh, Evers. Sorry, Evers. I'm just so excited to have it. Yeah, I've I've heard it both ways, Evers or Evers. I'm okay with either pronunciation. Yeah, I definitely love finding the pre-war Cubs stuff. And and, the, and getting stuff that's the real photograph is pretty pretty cool. Okay, the next little uh I've got a gaggle of pack fresh 75s. These are back from when I was a, uh, a on your side of the uh, the screen buying from these breaks. These are all pack fresh 75s. So Gary Sutherland, Jim Rooker, Nelson Breels, Ernie Mc McGanley, and a Tigers team card. All pack fresh. Next person to spend fifty dollars will get this gaggle of five pack fresh 75 cards. You know, um, I think I've alluded to this before on the show. Um, hold on a second. Let me grab something. Probably don't need that. So I think I've talked about this ball before. Uh, no, Justin Rich, the West does not do briefcases. Um, I've mentioned this, this, this ball before. Um... It's completely illegible, except for a couple words. Brooklyn, um, uh, Cubs, and I think series you can read. So, based on, you know, kind of what uh, Jeff Spellman said. So, back at the turn of century, my, my namesake um, was a, a, a very large banker in Chicago. And he was friends with the Wrigley family. The story goes that when the Cubs won a pennant, we're not sure what year, but it'd be the 1913 pennant or maybe it's 1906. Um, they came to my great grandfather's house for a party, and the team signed this ball. That's the story. Um, my mother remembers this ball being displayed in, in Grandpa's office and in her, uh, in, in great, her Grandpa's and my Grandpa, great grandfather, and grandfather's offices for years. And when they both passed, I inherited it. She also remembers photographs of the Cubs team in their uniforms in Great Grandpa's house. Unfortunately, the photos have been lost over the years and moves, and deaths and splitting up property, but. So, but I still have the ball and the ball does say the Cubs. It does say pennant and it does say Brooklyn. And I believe they played Brooklyn in 1913. Um, if I remember correctly, and you can tell their signatures on it, but they're all long since faded. I've sent the ball to a couple of different, different pl people. And unfortunately I can't, I haven't been able to find the right person to send this to to do a forensic analysis on it to find out what's actually written on the ball or if the family lore is just completely false. I tend to believe it's true because there's plenty of documentation of the family that they, they, the regular, they regularly banked at my grandfather's bank and, um, all that stuff. So there's no doubt in my mind that the family knew the Wrigley's. Um, that's part of the reason why my family said diehard Cubs fans, but, um, 
if any of you guys know anybody out there that's uh, forensic something or other, I don't know. Uh, this ball's already been to JSA. It's already been to PSA. Uh, I've already sent to one forensic analysis place. None of them have been able to. They're either too afraid to do anything to it, which I understand, or they just can't find any information. They can't. Whatever they have doesn't do anything. So, uh, so if anybody has any thoughts, be happy to share. But yes, going back to your original question, Spillin, I think it'd be really cool to spend time with players of this era because they were real gentlemen for the most part. Um, and they were very cool. 1918, okay. I knew I, I, I knew it was the 19 teens. I couldn't remember exactly when. But, um, yeah, if anybody, anybody knows anybody or, you know, has any suggestions, I'm, I'm more than willing to pay for services to find out what's on the ball. It even risk the risk damage to that ball because, I mean, you know, it's not exactly going to get in any worse condition, I don't think. Yeah, to Jeff Spellman, to me, it's priceless. Even if it came back that it was bogus, I'd still keep it and it's still the story of the family. It's, it's well, it, that's probably my most priceless piece in my collection. Yeah, Jeff, I hadn't thought about writing the uh, Baseball Hall of Fame. But yeah, I think I definitely think player. Well, like I've mentioned before on the show many times, that players of yesteryear don't. We don't need to go that far back. Maybe thirty years ago, or more. Um, when players were playing for the fun of the game. So I I think it'd be really interesting to. Uh, to visit with them, you know, as, as normal people. Okay. Craig, we got Craig down here. Paul Gessner. Got some set spots. Very nice, Paul. Let me check out that 75 mini pack. We got to be pretty close. I think there should be three spots left. Hey, we've got three, only three spots left to the 75 mini set. All right, so Paul gets the gaggle of 75 cards. And Paul's going to get a nice little stack of these cards. And Eddie Murray, Don Baylor, Manny Ramirez, Don Sutton, Tony Perez. I didn't mean to put these ultra-modern ones in here. They're not quite the same caliber. We do have a cool ultramodern ernie banks card i put that in there because i'm biased and i like ernie banks one two three four five six got a really nice looking check 68 checklist for you steve garvey opici barry larkin we've got a 1937 uh, ted williams set card this one's unfortunately he's got a bad crease in the middle but still a cool card and a don newcomb one, two, three, four, five, six, nine, ten, eleven. Yep. That's headed to your direction, Paul. Yeah, Sean and Jeff, it would be it would mean nothing more to me to get that ball verified that the team that signed it was from, say, the nineteen eighteen series. Um, that would be awesome. All right, Paul. Paul gets that little gaggle. All right, guys. We're almost we're 45 minutes into the show, and we've not knocked out any of our bingo card spots. Does nobody want a free 1956 baseball set break spot? Yeah, Sean. I think I'll 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 look into that uh, here the next week. I and mean, you know, I'm more than happy to uh, make a trip out there or send them the ball. I think they'd be trustworthy. <laughs> but yeah, if I mean if I could find out that's what the ball's attributed to, that'd be that'd be awesome. But I've definitely, definitely become more focused on 
since I finished the Banks run, with the exception of maybe upgrading a couple of the Banks cards in my collection, I definitely have become much more focused on the pre-war stuff. And then maybe if I could ever find out who actually signed that ball, I would probably go on a quest to get signatures of all those players. So I could bring them together. Okay, let me see what else I've got here. The next person to spend 50 bucks will get this 1986 Classic Miniatures logo, sticker, and traded card set. I believe this is 100% complete. I did count them out. So I'm pretty sure they're all here. So the next person to spend 50 will get this 86 set. Classic Miniature Fleer logo and traded card set. Next person to spend a 50. We also have 35 days left till Nationals. I'm looking forward to meeting a lot of you there. It's going to be fun. Fair warning in real life, I'm very standoffish. I know I've mentioned this before. Some of you may remember I do have severe social anxiety. So in person, I am uh, much quieter. <laughs> but it's going to be awesome to, uh, to meet every one of you. Or as many of you as possible. Pre Wars Cubs, Giants, Athletics. Yeah, absolutely, Sean. Yeah, there's a lot of cool cool stuff that I mean I think it's just cool to find the you know, stuff that's just the historic aspect of that this this has survived for a hundred years. You know, stuff that generally wasn't especially back then, wasn't meant to be saved really. That it's survived. Or just to think that, you know, this this card, you know, some kid bought a candy bar and this this card came with it in the wrapper and they held on to it and it was kept flat for, you know, I don't know what year this SGC holder's from, but darn near a hundred years it was kept in almost perfect condition. I mean it's it's just mind blowing. Uh oh, Orlando has entered entered the chat. Orlando's taken down one of seventy five mini set spot or not, uh, pack spot, so we have two spots to go. Orlando must be working while he's. Otherwise, he'd be chatting. Orlando is a chatter. Let's go ahead and get the 75 pack out here. So, Orlando gets the box. And he also gets a 57 Rip Coleman. Ooh, and he hit one of the nice ones. This is out of a trifolder. It's a panel from a trifolder. Uh, this one's of... Uh, Geogram. Not sure. Geogram. Pretty cool. So this is part of a trifolder. Coleman. Nice two cards there for you. Hey, I, I, I'm welcome to listen. I always like to learn. It's you know, I, I am, I am not the type of person that learns by reading. I'm the person that learns by hearing. Um, so if somebody tells me something, I tend to remember it. Of course, I'm reading here in chat, so I'll probably forget uh, most of what everyone said. Uh, but uh, in person, I'm a very audio learner.
Hey, Orlando. No problem, man. Hope you hang out for a while with us. Lots of cool stuff going on here. Especially if we could break the 75 Mini. Yeah, I'd, lo I'd love to get a pre-war Ty Cobb card. He uh, doesn't exactly fit in my collection, but I, I think I, I, th I just feel I need a Ty Cobb card in my collection. Same as Babe Ruth. doesn't really fit into my focus of my collection, but I feel like I need a Babe Ruth card. I'm doing pretty good, Orlando. How are you doing? Are you working? Let's see. What do I have next I can give away? How about the next person to spend a 50 will get this Mike Trout Chrome. Actually, this is a, a ref I think. No, this isn't a refractor. This is a Mike Chrome 176 from 2018. These go for surprisingly good money. This may be a refractor. I don't know. I don't think... Maybe it's not. But the next person said 50 will get a modern card. Yeah, Sean, I was always the one that would argue with the teacher when the teacher says we went over this in class, and I would say, no, you didn't, because I would remember it. What else do I have fun here to give away? Actually, how about this? Next person spend, spend 50. You'll get the Trouty and you'll get a Grease Pack. How about that? Get you a nice little unique combo action there. A grease Pack and a Trouty. Hey, Charles, I don't know the answer to this, but do you know if the Santa Cofax rookie card got shipped out? I received all my other stuff. I just haven't seen uh, Justin, you know, I, I can't answer that for you, man. Um, I'm, I'm in Phoenix, Arizona, where you won that card's in New Jersey. Um, I, I You'd have to email... Hey, what's going on, Billy? Um, you'd have to email uh, VB Shipping. Or you can just give the office a call, too. Um, but that's the... Uh, let me get the email addresses up for you. Seventy-eight OPG. I'm pretty sure I do. Let me uh, take a quick look. See, look at that, right, right on the top. Oh no, that's it's seventy-six. Seventy-six OPG. Tops, tops, tops. Yeah, I've got, I've got four seventy-eight OPG packs. So I got you covered. Yeah, just Paradise Valley's super nice. That's uh, I live in uh, in Mesa, so I'm a little bit low low lower rent, but uh, Paradise Valley is a beautiful place to be. No problem, Billy. Just let me know if you sell it out. That would that would also qualify you for 79 or earlier spot in our bingo card, with a chance at winning a 56 baseball separate spot if you sell it out. I have a Ruth. A couple years ago, of course. Yeah, Sean, you know, that's, you know, that's actually one of the cool things about going to the, the Nationals is, I mean, Ty Cobbs are expensive, but, you know, Ty Cobbs and Roos, you could probably find a well-loved, authentic, or PSA 1 of some oddball set for a reason, more reasonable price. I mean, reasonable to me versus somebody else, maybe two different things, but um, they can be found. But if I find it first, I'm buying it. <laughs> Alright guys, we got two more spots in the 75 Mini Bounty. First place gets a 75 Mini set. Second place will get a $50 break credit. $15, $15 break credit. Third place will get a 71 set break spot. And all three of those spots will get BAM spots. Vintage Shark. 
All right, Billy Blair sounds like he's making the leap for 78 OPG. Bill, I'll even let you pick which pack I open. Uh, Orlando took down one more spot in the 75 mini. So that means we should have one more spot to go. We've got one spot to go in the 75 mini pack, guys. Okay, so Orlando picks up the Grease and the Mike Trout. And the John Buzzhart. And the Ron Jackson. I'm making room in my uh, my Vintage Breaks giveaway section for um, hopefully what will be a successful national trip. Charles's nickname at Nashville will be Hoover because. I can everything laying around. <laughs> you know, I, I you know, I I do have a slight advantage because I do work for Vintage Break, so I will be a vendor, um, and I will be there earlier than the average public. But there's still hundreds of vendors and hundreds of tables. Um, I will, you know, I I will try to get lucky. I mean, I will. Uh, <laughs> But everything that I think is a good deal, it fits into my collection, or I can give away to you guys. All right, let me find something else here for the next 50 bucks. We'll do a trio. An Aaron Judge rookie. The Aaron Judge does, I believe, have some surface wear on it. We've got a Nolan Arenato. 2021 patch card. That one's not numbered, but the Josh Bell is numbered out of 199. Next person spent 50 will get that trio of cards. There's Mr. Billy Blair. All right. <laughs> Everybody's a sucker for a Trollta card. All right, Billy, these are the four packs that I have. We'll let you pick which one you want me to open. One, two, three, or four. And I'll get your bonus goodies here. Jim Hegan, Claude Raymond, Bob Rush, Herm Weiner, and a Ken Griffey Sr. Along with the gaggle of cards I just announced. Number four, all right. Well, at least so far you've got one bingo spot by just buying it out. So you get that one right there. And the catcher on the cover does not count for the catcher spot. We gotta find a catcher player of actual player. Billy Blair. Okay. Let's get this set up to break. All right, so Billy cracks the seal on the goals and gets this spot here. 
There we go. And the break order. Billy Blue, and then that goes to there, and got that to go to there. Myself a stack of card savers. Going to pull a pinstripe legend over 15 months, months. All right. We're going to get get the Eddie and the Munson. That's We're, we're just, we're just going to get both. How about that? Well, welcome to Vintage Breaks. I'm your host, Charlie G from Vintage Breaks West. And tonight we're breaking a 1978 OPG baseball pack, 185, 185th one of these. It's a personal for Billy Blair. We're going to be looking for Eddie, not Murphy, even though he's my, one of my favorite 80s actors, Eddie Murray. Of course, we do have a prediction in the chat that we're going to pull a Munson. Let's see what we can do. That came apart pretty well. Get you that wrapper. Let's see if I can get the gum off here. Gum came off pretty well. All right. Right off the bat, you get another bingo spot. Card number one is the Blue Jays team card. Nice pack, fresh card. A little bit off center. Oops, there we go. Focus. Focus better. Well, Blue Jays. Card number one for you. Let me get you on the bingo board. All right, so you got the team card. Second card here, the White Sox. So you get the Chicago-based team spot as well. Steve Nibbe with Mr. Steve Stone. Unfortunately, off-center. There we go. Focus a little better that time. Steve Stone. So, so far you've got three bingo spots for one pack. Can we get a catcher? I believe that's the only other thing we can get out of this pack. That would be, a, uh, be on the bingo board. Ron Lafour. Unfortunately, the centering continues to go off. Here we go. A Don Sutton. Still off center, but a Don Sutton. Nonetheless, all-star pitcher card. Greg Luzinski. Yes, sir. Hall of Famer, Don Sutton. Greg Luzinski. Still off-center. Fortunately, that's the way OPG cards almost always are. Don Baylor. Great player for the Angels back in the day. Keith Hernandez for St. Louis. Oh, man. I'm not watching the Cubs game right now. Keith Hernandez. First base, yeah. Yeah, when Chapman is, um, well, Chapman has his good days and he has his bad days. It sounds like today is one of his bad days. Roy Hartsfield, manager. Well, well, well. Mr. Sean Dooley, with the correct prediction for the pack, a Thurman Munson with an actually pretty decent centering for OPG. Thurman Munson catcher card. It's a little off center both directions. 
But that's actually a really nice Thurman Munson card. That's a, that's a great hit. Congratulations, Billy Blair. Uh, I believe you owe Sean a, uh, a beer or something for his uh, prediction skills. That is awesome. Congratulations, Billy. That's a good-looking card. I mean, the rough edges are typical for Opeachy, so you shouldn't get dinged on that. It might. It, I'd say that's probably an 8 would be my prediction on that. That's a beautiful card. Congratulations. And our final card is Wayne Twitchell with wax all over his face. Wayne Twitchell. And that wraps up our 1978 OPG Baseball Wax Pack. 185 personal for Mr. Billy Blair. Congratulations, sir, on the Munson. And thanks for watching. I can't believe you predicted that, Sean. That's amazing. Well, let's get let's get a catcher up here. So Billy Blair, with one pack, got one, two, three, four spot, four of the nine bingo card spots. Yes, sir, Billy, you get you get the wrapper too. Yeah, I mean if you're gonna pull a catcher, pull Munson as a catcher. Well, Dickie Thon's in just about every pack, uh, Sean. That's not, 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 not much prediction. You, well, hey, Billy, you picked it, man. I gave you the four to choose from, and you picked, picked the right one, apparently. That's a hard pack to beat. What's strange is Dickie Thon may be in every pack, but when I used to have a on here the uh, pull guys with a name that would make me giggle, we never pulled Dickie Thon when make it make me giggle was an option on the bingo board. All right, you are all wrapped up and good to go now, Billy. That was a great pack. I'm just floored by Sean's prediction. Jess Feldman, we just pulled a really nice OPG um, Munson that Sean predicted in the pack. Oops, a little bit off center, but otherwise pack fresh Munson. We also have two spots left of the 75 mini pack to open. And I can give away the bounty on that. Let's see here. What do I have in the way of, like, basketball stuff? Or football, maybe. All right, we'll do the trio of ultra-modern basketball. We've got a Carmelo Anthony mosaic. We've got a Kevin Love mosaic, whatever call that, and a Jamel Murray. I think I've heard Sam get crazy over Jamel Murray and Carmelo Anthony before. So next person said 50, we'll get those three ultra-modern basketball cards. <laughs> I guess so. We're, we're going to have to talk more old baseball here to get your uh, predictions running. We have one more spot. If Hopefully we can predict getting a George Brett rookie or George Brett out of here or a... Uh, I'm flustered. 
George Brett or any any really good centered card or maybe a Hank Aaron number one or number six sixty. Our Yount. Only one more spot to go to open that pack. That's the last 75 mini that I have here in the house. We also need to open a 90 or later pack, a basketball pack, find a kicker or punter, get a goalie, and also do a wrestling or Star Wars pack. Dig around here and see what else I got here. Here, I'll let, let you have your choice. So we've got the ultra modern basketball lot for 50, or you can get the Bob Greasy, Curly Culp, Jack Lambert, and a Brett Favre. Qua uh, so you get either the football gaggle or the basketball gaggle. Next person spends 50. If you spend 100, you get both. Tyler Rogers picking up a 56 baseball set break spot. Excellent. All right, Tyler's going to get both of these since he spent over a hundo. Don't worry if you're in the process of buying. I'll put together another gaggle of cards for you, too. So you get the Lou Whitaker, Dwight Gooden, Fernando of Valenzuela, Tom Seaver, Dave Winfield. And we'll give you the Ron Say, too. Four, five, yeah. Three, four, six. Okay, yeah, that's right. What's going on, Mr. Charles Perry? We've got one more spot left of the 75 mini pack. Charles, we're trying to sell out. We've got a bounty. First place, we'll get a 75 mini set break spot. Second place, we'll get a $50 break credit. And third place, we'll get a 1971 set break spot. Those first three spots will also get BAM spots. You're very welcome, Tyler. Hope you get something awesome in the 56 set break spot. Yeah, I'd love to get a, a, a like a real vintage Wrigley Field, like a, an actual vintage photograph, not like a, a new new print, uh, like an actual vintage picture of Wrigley Field to hang behind me, in, you know, in my office. I think that's that's kind of, that's probably what I want to have behind me. Okay, another... Alright, I've got this gaggle of ultra-modern Bryce Harper a Frank Thomas, a Nolan Ryan, Manny Machado, a Justin Verlander, even Rodriguez, Jackie Robinson, Nolan Ryan, another Frank Thomas, Steve Carlton, Vladimir Guerrero Sr., and a Freddie Freeman. These are all chrome cards. First person to 50 will get that little gaggle. So let's take a look here at the take the uh, bingo board off just for a second while we look at this. So we've got some really great set breaks happening right now. We've got the 66 Philly football set. You get yourself a Butkus SGC 5, Gale Sayers rookie SGC 6. That means some really great cards of that set. Of course, I'm partial to the 75 mini set. We only have 69 spots left of that, so that's going to break here real soon. The 56 set break has been getting some, getting a lot of action and attention. I mean, a beautiful Ernie Banks in a seven, 
Sandy Koufax in a seven. This Jackie Robinson in a seven is killer. Mantle in a seven. Campy seven. Killer seven. Hank Aaron in a four. It's a beautiful four, though. Luis Apricio in a six, I believe. Some great cards here. Great value for oops, $150 a spot. What else do we have here? This, I, and I think this is the first time ever we've got a page two on our set breaks. We've got so many set breaks going on. We've got 55 Bowman set, the 60 uh, Raw set, and then the 50, 65 set that Leighton announced earlier today. 1965 PSA 8 or better set. They're all PSA 8 except for the Steve Carlton rookie, um, which is a PSA 9. Beautiful cards. All PSA 8 except for a 9 for the Steve Carlton. Every card is graded. It's it's a beautiful set. Just a great look at, you know, like design. It's It's great. So that's some things to look at on the website you consider. And anything you buy goes towards the promos that Ventrix West is offering. You don't necessarily have to buy things that I have to break. Although I'd appreciate it because it gives me something to do instead of just sit here and talk to the screen. So we've got one spot left of the 75 mini pack break sitting right here ready to go. Then I can give away some set break spots and some break credit to the top three on that list. The top three people who bought, there's only six spots remaining, so I'll randomize those people separately. I should get that up so I can remember to do that. Okay. Yeah, all the original fields would be cool. Um, actually, be a good, good discussion here. What do you guys think about the... Do you think the Bears are serious about leaving Soldier Field? Or are they do they make that bid um, to purchase the racetrack as a negotiating tactic to get upgrades to Soldier Field? I personally think they're doing it as leverage to get upgrades to Soldier Field. I think it'd be a tragedy for the Bears to leave Soldier Field. Absolutely Spellman. That, that's that's how I feel. I'm new to the site and would be 75 mini pack, but having issues navigating. Sure, Tyler, let me uh let me get the site up here for you. We could walk you through it. Let me uh get to the home page here. All right, Tyler, all you have to do is go to our, go to our homepage here. Let me get the bingo card off so we can have an easier time. So you go to our site, vintagebreaks.com, just below my name here, vintagebreaks.com, right there. We'll bring you to the site that you see on my screen. Just scroll on down. Since you know what you're buying into, you can just use the search bar, 1975, and hit enter. And that'll bring up the what's available. 75 mini says one spot left. So all you have to do is click the add to cart. I'm not going to do it because our inventory management system is a little goofy. All you have to do is hit add to cart and check out. Uh, I would highly suggest signing up for an account. Makes it so you can, um, we can give you free stuff, uh, which you will be entered and possibly win this evening. So if you hit something, you I can give it to you. 
Also sign up for text the text messaging option when you sign up for an account. That way you get notified when sets are happening, or we can reach out to you if you have a question, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. We do not sell your information. Oh yeah, yeah, you gotta get off your dashboard and go to the site. And then also just so you know, all this we have our dip meter, all the veterans know, but your purchases, if they qualify, will be automatically entered into all of the stuff. So you'll get for fifty bucks, you get five spots in this. You'll get uh, fifteen spots, six, fifteen, sixteen spots of this, five spots of this, one spot in that, spots of this. I don't think you qualify for any of these other ones down here, but that all gets automatically added. You don't have to add anything to your cart to make those happen. You're welcome, Tyler. If you need anything else, just let us know. Yeah, Jeff, I think there would be a complete anarchy and riots in the streets if they move from Soldier Field or the Cubs left. Yeah, Sean, I think they could, I mean, you know, I mean, I, I go to regular, well, except for last year. Last year doesn't count for anybody. But I, I go to regularly once a year, and I mean, it's, yeah, it's an older ballpark, but I don't, there's nothing wrong with it. It's, you know, it's a good baseball, it's, you know, I, personally, it's the best baseball experience I think I've, you know, go to, but I'm biased. You just have to keep it upgraded. All right, looks like Tyler did get the last spot in the 75 Mini, which means he's going to get this Gaggle of Ultra... Oh, excuse me. Gaggle of Ultra Moderns. And he also will pick up a Carlton Fisk and a Mike Schmidt Leaf. Thank you for closing that out, Tyler. In case I lose the list. Okay, let's break this 75 mini pack. Sean, do you have any predictions for what we're going to find in this pack, sir? Oh, Hawks only by three. Wow. Not feeling anything, Sean. Okay, okay. First thing I'm going to do Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to random off the prizes here. All right, we're going to randomize. Let's see what I got. I suppose I should this. Welcome to Drake's. I'm your host, Charlie G from Vintage Drake's West, and tonight we're breaking this 1975 Topps Mini Wax Pack. 181. We've opened 180 of these so far. That's a lot. That's five boxes. I think there's 36 to a box. Our first roll of the dice is randomizing the last six purchases to give away three prizes. 
So we're going to randomize the list this time six times. Get the glare off of those six times. Good luck to Laverne, Craig, Orlando, and Tyler. This is for the closeout promo. One, two, three, four, five. And our top three to win are... Okay, Laverne, Orlando, and Craig. Laverne gets a... 75 mini set break spot. 75 mini plus bam. Craig or Orlando will get a $15 break credit. And Craig will get a 71 set spot. Finish writing this down. Okay, congratulations to our winners. Now let's get to the main event, the breaking of this pack. We're going to re-roll the dice to randomize the list. We've got ourselves a six on the dice roll again, a different way. Good luck to Paul Bamble, Donald, Richard, Laverne, Craig, Orlando, and Tyler. Six times. One, two, three, four, five, and six. All right, Laverne's get the first. Tyler's get the last. Good luck. As you guys know, I'm very partial to 75 mini. I love this set. I hope we pull a big hit for you guys. Catfish. Okay, we've got a catfish, a Reggie. Bench. Cops catcher, come on. <laughs> All right. First card right here for you, Laverne. I really would like to see a number one or number 660 Hank Aaron. In really nicely centered condition. Nasty gum. If Tommy John comes out, I'm sorry. Ooh, centering is really good. Billy Fay. A little bit of love to the corner, as the top cards tend to have. But that's that's a very nicely centered card. Let me get the bingo card back up so we remember we're still playing bingo. Billy. Fahey for Laverne. Phil Roof. A little off center, but not too bad. No print defects. You're fighting centering and print defects in 75, both mini, uh, with mini and regular. But the centering is much worse in mini. That's not too bad. Oops, I picked up two. Dave. Goltz is spot three for Laverne. Dave Goltz. Well, the catcher spot is already taken on the bingo card. <laughs> the spot has been filled. Spot four, Orlando Celestino. So again, centering is a little bit off, but print-wise, these are really nice. Great corners and great edges. Here we go, Dave Concepcion. Best hit so far for Donald. Spot five. Yeah, beautiful card. Just a little off-center. Dave Concepcion. Jim Rooker. Center has gone the other direction now. Great looking cards. Steve Rinko. 
It's about seven. Looks like the, they shorted me card savers here. Yeah, Steve Rinko's off center too. Beautiful looking cards. All right, hold on a second here. I've got to uh, make the next couple because they didn't make them for me. Nine and ten. Okay. This is spot eight. Vic Albury. A little bit of edge wear on him from what looks like a roller. Vic Albury, that's spot eight for Paul. Right? Spot nine, Woody Fryman for Richard, our father-son combination. Beautiful cards. I just love the colors. And rounding out this pack, spot ten is a Rich Allen Johnny Bench card. It's the wax card. Centering's a little bit off. But a beautiful card nonetheless. And that's headed to Tyler. And that concludes our 1975 Tops Mini Wax Pack number 181. Thanks for watching. And good time. Doorbell just rang with my up uh, my packages from FedEx. I'll be back in just a second, guys. Okay, I'm back. And yes, you did predict a bench. And we did get a Johnny bench. Alright, we still have a 90 or later pack we have to sell out, basketball pack, kicker punter card, goalie card, and a wrestling or Star Wars pack. In the meantime, let's do a live unboxing of uh, Live unboxing of the Vintage Breaks inventory refill. Let's see if there's any goodies in here for me to give away or any uh, new stuff to put on the site to break tonight. Not quite as exciting as opening a fresh case of definitive or national treasures. All right. Ooh, we got. We, oh, we got some good stuff in here. We got some Prism UFC, which I'll count as wrestling. We've got some game used SP hockey. Got lots of new stuff that we haven't had in the West before. We've got a Bowman Chrome Mega Box uh, 2020. We've got a 2017 Evolution Soccer Hanger. Got 
got some plastic bags. That's very exciting. I know you guys want me to give away plastic bags. We've got a 2017-18 Select Soccer Hanger. And then three. Actually, no, just two. Next person to spend a thousand gets a uh, a fresh sealed box of card saver ones. <laughs> just kidding. I need those to put your stuff in. Uh, ninety leaf. I believe I do. Let me. Actually, no, I don't think I've got ninety leaf. I've got. Yeah. Yeah, 90 leaf. Oop, oop. My goodness, we got all sorts of fun stuff here. If 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 something some something you see is not already on the website, let me know and I can put it on the website. Let's see, all this stuff I know is on the website already, but we've got uh, 2020 Optic Hangers, 2020 Mosaic Hangers, Football, uh, 2020 Prism Hangers, Football, or is that 19? Yeah, it's 2020. Uh, 2018 Optic Hanger. Got some, uh, here's this hockey. Off the top of my head, I can't tell you what your hockey that is. We've got three of those. Is there anything else exciting? This is all stuff I already had. I had 78s. Yeah, I already had all this this stuff. This is just more. Cello. Yeah, th yeah these are cello. Sorry, yeah. These are hangers. What's up, Cody? We're going through my uh, FedEx order I just got from the north. Let's see here. Oh, let's see. We got, I got illusions again. I don't think I had this on, on at least the west site, but we've got some illusions hangers. Oh, I already had one of these on the site, but I've got a couple more. I'm sorry. Packs, not hangers. Uh, ooh. I have 77 cloth. They sent me one. And all the rest of this I already had. <laughs> yes. Vengeance Breaks West inventory unboxing. All right. Yeah, this stuff I think I had for the most part already on the site, so... So if you see anything that you wanted to bust, and it's not on the website, tell me. I'll put this stuff kind of in the corner over here so you can kind of see it. Steve Strauss, 90 Leaf. Okay. Okay, Steve, I'll get to you here in just a second. Ooh, they sent me some new prize card. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and add this. You guys like the cloth stuff, so let me go ahead and put, make sure the cloth is on the website. I know I didn't have it, on, at least on the west. Yeah. It's not on the website. I'm adding it right now to the west. Okay, this cloth pack is now listed. Leaf going here. Uh, 
Uh, Orlando, you did see a 79 Ozzy. I'm going to have to figure out what I want to do to give that away. Okay, Steve Strauss did sell the 90 Leaf. So we'll break this pack here in just a minute. Quite personal though. But Steve Strauss will get the 90 or later pack spot. So one more down on the goals. Gee, um, this orange isn't good there. There we go. Okay. So we still need to sell out a basketball pack. We still need to find a kicker or punter card. We still need to find a goalie card. And we still need to do a wrestling or Star Wars pack. And I'll count the Prism UFC box as wrestling, even though it's like boxing. Hey, what's going on, Mr. Sammy? Stream is breaking up. I have no drop frames. I know that my, my face cam is a little roboto tonight. All right, welcome to Vintage Breaks. I'm your host, Charlie G from Vintage Breaks West, and tonight we're breaking this 1990 Leaf Second Series, pack number 62. We're going to randomize our list four times. Good luck to Tyler, Todd, and Steven. One, two, three, and three, and four. All right, Steve's get the first and last cards. Let's see what we can get going here. We predict this pack will have a Dion Sanders. All right. Here we go. First card right here. I hate these packs. They are hard to open. Yeah, there it goes. Yeah. We want the big hurt. Joseph, Jose Offerman. Card number one. Greg Hibbard. Card number two. Xavier Hernandez. Card number three. Card number four, John Orton. <laughs> and Mariano Duncan. Jeff Reed. There you go. For you, Cody. Spot five. Spot six, Greg Harris. Spot seven, Paul Asenmacher for the Cubbies. Spot eight, Brian Holton. I remember Mr. Steve Avery for the Braves back in the day. Spot nine. Spot ten, Todd Stratelmeyer. Gary Pettis. Spot eleven. Spot twelve, Mike Lacoste. Spot 11, or 12, sorry, this is spot 12 for Michael Lacrosse. Keith Comstock. Uh, 
Ozzy Canseco. Gerald Clark, spot 15. Yeah, he was hot for a little bit, but not, not long enough. And then the uh, puzzle card. And that's going to wrap up our 1990 Leaf Second Series Pack 62. Thanks for watching. That was um, not a good pack. Sorry, guys. Yeah, it was, it was, the card was good for a hot minute back in the 90s. Well, I shouldn't say 90s. In 90. Now, Schmoltz. Schmoltz turned out real good. Oh, and Steve Stress, I owe you a Carlton Fisk. And a Tom Seaver for selling that out. The next person to spin a hundo will get the Wizard of Oz rookie. The corners have some love, but for the Wizard of Oz, it's actually a pretty well centered Wizard of Oz. Next person to spin a hundo. Here. Have we closed our 10 at 100 yet? 100 at 10? I know I do it backwards and it confuses you guys. I'm sorry. We have 18 spots remaining in the $10 at 100 entries. First place gets a 56 baseball set break spot. Second place gets a 75 mini spot. Third place gets a 71 baseball set break spot. And the last place butter position gets a 75 mini spot. Everyone gets a BAM spot and first in the butter actually get two. Only 18 more spots to go there, guys. And remember, we got to sell out a basketball pack, kicker putter pack, find a goalie card, and open a wrestling or Star Wars pack. And then we give away all these prizes. Everyone wins something. But the big prize is the 56 baseball set break spot. It's a $115 spot, guys. Let's see here. What do I want to bounty next? What do you guys want to see open? I opened what I wanted to open with the 75 Mini. What do you want me to bounty up that I have here? Talk to me, guys. Talk to me, Goose. You guys thinking, you know, what sport, vintage, ultra modern? I have a pretty nice variety right now. Let me know what you would like to see bountied, and we can make it happen. Oh, it was my cell phone. It's on mute. Apparently, they've lost power at my dad's house. So he has to, you know, tell me that they've lost power for some reason. He lives two hours north of me.
Let's see here. Uh, I'm not sure what the temperature was today, but I think the day before was like 107, 108. It got a little, a little bit of rain uh, today, a little drizzle, I should say. Last week we had five days or six days, 115 or higher. It was pretty miserable. Let's see what let's see what I've got for basketball that I'd like to see opened. Since you guys aren't helping me, <laughs> we've got to open a basketball pack to satisfy one of our bingo card spots. Spots. Thirteen spots. Fourteen. Okay. All right, we've got five spots left in 1977 Topps Basketball. Robert Parrish rookies, Adrian Dantley, and some others in here. We've got five spots left. Let me see what I could do here. Okay. 1977 Bounty. First place, we'll get this Illusion Hanger. Pack, whatever. This pack. We give away three prizes for the five spots. Illusions plus plus a BAM spot. Second place will get a fifteen dollar break credit and a BAM. And third through fifth will all get BAM spots. Okay, so there's five spots left of the 77 basketball pack. We'll randomize those five names. The first person will get this Illusions pack. Second place will get a $50 break credit. Third place, fourth place, and fifth place will get BAM spots. First and second will also get BAM spots. Let's go. And then whoever buys the final spot, We'll get this spot here with a chance to win that. Yeah, Sean, we had one seventy-seven cloth show up in the re refill that I just unboxed.
I think they're cutting me off on it, too, because they usually send me two at a time, but I only got one in this order. Or I shouldn't say order, but refill. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and uh, award you guys your prizes for selling out the 75 Mini. So I'm going to give you, Orlando, your break credit. What's it, what's it say? Let me see what it's, it's talking to me. What you saying? It smells musty. It smells it smells old. I think it says Sean opened me. I think that's what it's saying to me. Okay, Orlando, if you're watching, you've got your break credit now of $15. mini. Okay, and Laverne, you now have your 75 mini set spot. And Craig, your 71 set break spot. Okay, and Craig McDonald, you've got your 71 set break spot. And let me get your BAM spots here so I can wrap this up. There's the Brick of Maniacs. Okay. There's Laverne. One spot. For, actually, no, you get two, sorry. Laverne, you get two. Craig gets one. Oh, Craig McDonald, sorry. Craig McDonald gets one, and Orlando gets two. Okay, your prizes have been distributed, Laverne, Craig, and Orlando. Okay, let me catch up with chat. Okay. Cloth, this look good. You're welcome, Orlando. <laughs> Sean, well, I could probably look up. Where, where do you live, Sean? That's the most expensive place on earth. I think like Japan's like the most expensive place on earth. All right, so you got some perks there. Thomas Sheldon bought some set break spots. Nice buys there. You get. You'll get the Wizard of Oz, and then you'll also get some cards out of this deck. You'll get the Harold Baines, the Eddie Murray, a uh, Reggie Jackson, Donnie Baseball, another Reggie Smith, a uh, Reggie Jackson. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. And those are headed to you, Thomas Sheldon. Thank you for your purchases, sir. Oh, Jersey? Pfft. 
Jersey's not the most expensive place in the world. Well, yeah, the property taxes are pretty expensive there, I'm sure. And then Sean bought one spot in the cloth pack. So there's only one more spot left in this cloth pack. We could get that open. All right, you get the you get a Lee Smith, and I'll round you up to get the Lee Smith and a Rogers Clemens. Yeah, I think my property taxes on my condo or townhouse is a uh, $600 a year. Of course, I also have a modest two-bedroom townhouse I live in. And the city I live in is very cheap tax-wise. All right, next person to spend a hundo will get this really beautiful 72 Stargill. Yeah, I mean, that, that Star Jewel, besides being slightly off-center, is beautiful. Next person to spend a hundo will get the Star Jewel, 72 Star Jewel. Alright, let's focus. Alright guys, I thought this was a pretty, pretty hefty bounty on this. There's five spots remaining in this 77 basketball pack. They're $40 a spot, and first prize is a $50 value. Second place is a $50 break credit, and then everybody else gets BAM spots. Yeah, yeah, minor, yeah. Uh, my home value is not quite that much, but yeah, I think it's, if, last I paid any touch, it was like $600. It was definitely under $1,000. For my annual taxes. Also, guys, we have two spots remaining in the $10 at 100 promo. So if you spend $20, you'll close out that promo. And that gets you a shot at a 56 set break spot, 75 mini, or a 71 set break spot. Uh, Laverne, um, I'm not sure what spot, which spots you had, but you can rewind the stream to, uh, let me see, actually, oh man, I got pretty good there. Laverne, you did win first prize in the Bounty, which was a 75 mini set break spot. In a BAM spot, and then you got cards number one and number three out of the pack, and I'm watching it now. Uh, there wasn't any big hits, but if you rewind the video 30, 37 minutes, you could watch it live. But you did win first place, so yes, such a mini set break spot. Yeah, well, City of Mesa is just super cheap tax-wise. I, you know, not necessarily part of my buying decision, but it's, you know, it was where I ended up.
All right, Craig took down a spot in the basketball pack. Thank you, sir. And that also closed out our $10 at 100 promo. So we've got four more spots to go in this pack so I can give away those prizes. But I can give away the $10 at 100 entries promo. Welcome to Vintage Breaks. I'm Charlie G from Vintage Breaks West, and I'm giving away my $10 at 100 entries promo. First place, we'll get a 56 baseball set break spot and two BAM spots. Second place, we'll get a 75 mini set break spot and one BAM spot. Third place, we'll get a 1971 baseball set break spot and a BAM spot. And the butter position, last place, we'll get a 1975 mini set break spot and two BAM spots. We're going to randomize the list seven times. Thank you for all the people who entered, and we're going to randomize the list. One, two, three, four, five, six, and our winners at seven are Greg McDonald, Blair, Craig again, and Tyler Rogers. Again, Craig will be winning his 56 baseball set break spot. Billy will be wielding a 1975 set break spot. Craig will also be getting a 1971 set break spot. And Tyler will get a 75 set break spot. Tyler gets two BAM spots. Craig gets two BAM spots. Billy and Craig will get one BAM spot apiece. Congratulations to our winners, and thanks for participating. All right. Got to write this down real quick. Hey, what's up, Eddie? Haven't seen you around in a minute. And guys, I'll add these after I go off air tonight. Good karma, Craig, for closing out the promo and taking a dip in the 77 basketball pack. And Tyler. Okay, that is closed for the night. All right, Craig took, Craig took down the first spot. We only have four more to go. We also only have one spot to go in this cloth pack. And we love opening the cloth packs. Yeah, one spot to go, 25 bucks. I didn't give Craig his bonus stuff. Craig, you also will get a Don Sutton and a Steve Carlton Donruss card. A Leaf and a Donruss. And remember, the next person that spends a hundo will get this really beautiful Willie Stargell 72. Sean, who had himself a homer?
Moved to beautiful Phoenix, Arizona, specifically Mesa, Arizona, for low taxes. And great weather nine months out of the year. Just don't move here in the summer because it stinks. Again, guys, the bounty on the 77 basketball pack. First place, we'll get an Illusions. This Illusions pack. Second place, we have a $50 break credit. Third, fourth, and fifth will all get BAM spots. The first and second will also get BAM spots. Also, whoever makes the final sale, oops, will get this basketball pack spot. We still also need to find a kicker or punter, so we need to sell a football pack of some variety. Which would also possibly get us the goalie, or we could sell a soccer pack to get us a goalie. And then we also need to work on our wrestling pack, Star Wars packs. And we have, oop, just over an hour to go, hour and 18 minutes. Uh, Jeff, no, I don't, uh, because I live in a townhouse. We've got an HOA that takes care of the, uh, all the exterior stuff. Ryan Steele, what's up, buddy? Yes, sir, Craig. AC is a wonderful thing. Oh, yeah, Double E. Yeah, you took about Double E's hit last night, Sean. Yeah, that, the Trout Defenders of the Plate card will be awesome. I can't wait to see it. Okay, 77. Ryan Steele coming in hot. Yes, sir, he got four spots. All right. So, Ryan Steele, you'll get the Willie Stargell. You'll also probably clean me out of my last, my $20 stack I had here, too. Two, three, four, six. And we'll go back to the good old 89 Donners. I know you guys are missing this. Six. And it will throw in a couple extras, too. What the hell? Okie dokie. You've been eyeing that pack all night. All right, well, here we go. You'll pick it up a Rod Carew, a Dick Allen, Hank Aaron All-Star card, a 73rd World Series game number two card, Boog Pal, Kurt Belfry, Jim Palmer, White Sox team card, Greg Maddox, Lou Whitaker, Cal Ripken, and Tom Glavin, plus... The really nice looking Willie Stargell 72. Oh, there's the W. Yeah, that, uh, I don't have them handy, but out of the definitive boxes I broke, I picked up several um, defenders of the play cards. So they're really cool. A couple of the Defender Plates cards I got are actually, I mean, they're all supposedly game-worn, but I like it when you get a material patch that's like, you know, it's got scratch, it's dirt and stuff on it, or it actually looks game-worn. And they're, they're really cool. Alright, so we've reverted back to the 89 Donners for the $20 card stack. We're going to do the next $100 spin, we'll get the 79 Nolan Ryan. And let me uh, get the 77 basketball pack ready to go. Thank you, Ryan, for jumping in there and getting that sold out. Yeah, our system's kind of goofy sometimes. There it goes. Oops, not the right place. There it goes. 
those. Okie dokie. Welcome to Vintage Breaks. We're here with Charlie G for Vintage Breaks West. And tonight, we're breaking this 1977 Topps Basketball Wax Pack number 102. It's hard to believe we've broken 101 1977 Topps Basketball Wax Packs. The first order of businesses, I have put a bounty on this. First place will get a this Illusions Pack that's sitting here. Second place will get a $50 break credit. Third place... Third, fourth, and fifth will all get BAM spots. First, second will also get BAM spots. So we're going to randomize that list first. We're going to do that nine times. Good luck to Craig and Ryan Steele. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And on our ninth roll... Craig gets the $50 break credit, and Ryan Steele takes everything else. Congratulations. All right, now we're going to randomize our list for the break. First, let me put Ryan Steele on the bingo card for selling out a basketball pack. There we go. Okay, here we go. Randomize the list. 11 times. Good luck to Joseph Bugovec, Craig, and Ryan Steele. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And the order at 11 is Ryan Steele gets the first, and Joseph Bugovic gets the last card. Catch up on chat here real quick. Trout definitely keeper, double E. Oh, yeah. New Jersey politics. All right, first card for you, Ryan, right here. And I'll have to number the card savers after the break because I forgot to number them before the break. Let's see here. No, no kicker, punters, goalie, or goalie cards here, and it's definitely not wrestling or Star Wars. So nothing on our bingo card remains that we can pull out of here. First up, Paul Westfall. West. Paul Westfall. First card for you, Ryan. A little off center, but beautiful corners and edges. Marvin Webster, miscut for Joseph, spot number two. Spot number three, John Drew, centering is improving for Ryan Steele. Four, Jamal Wilkes. Four for Joseph. Center keeps going both directions. Card number five, Ken Charles. It's for Ryan Steele. Card number six. Mr. Artis Gilmore, still off center. No relation to Chris Gilmore. Just looks like he's levitating there. It's pretty, that's pretty cool. Very cool card. One, two, three, four, five, six. Card number seven for Joseph. 
Bill Walton. Centering is slowly getting better. Bill Walton. Number eight. Centering still continues to improve. Leonard Gray. Beautiful cards, sharp edges, crisp corners. Spot nine. Oh, ooh, we got a nice one at the back end here. Rick Barry, spot nine. And ending the pack with a bang. Unfortunately, it was the wax card, and it's off-center for Joseph Bukovic, a Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. I know this is by far not his rookie, but a beautiful Kareem Abdul-Jabbar card. Off-center. It was the wax card, so you have to use a pantyhose or something to get the wax off the back. But a beautiful Kareem Abdul Jabbar card. Yeah, last two cards of the pack. That Rick Barry's pretty nicely centered. So, Joseph, you got two nice hits back to back, man. And that's going to wrap up our 1977 Tops Basketball Wax Pack, number 102. Thank you for watching. And now you guys get to watch the lovely process of me putting numbers on these card savers. I forgot to do it before. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a lot. Lots of people I recognize, which means they're good. <laughs> And I think lots of gradable cards. I think there's lots of eights in here. Maybe a shot at a nine on a couple of those. Nineteen seventy seven tops basketball one oh two. Okay, so we took care of that. Let's see what we can do about doing a football pack. Let's double check what Double E got. Oh, Double E got the last cloth spot, so we'll break that real quick. You also get the Nolan Ryan 79 and a small gaggle of, of 89s. Mark Lipke, Ozzie Smith, Randy Johnson, rookie. He's got a crease in it, but still Randy Johnson, rookie. Lou Whitaker, Oil Can Boyd, and Tony Gwynn. All headed to you at double E. What's the bingo, you ask Matthew Best? New to the West. Well, you finally found the best show. So let me explain to you what bingo is all about. Get this put away. So our bingo card here, we've got things we want to pull or sell out. So this first one, we wanted to open a 79 earlier pack. And Billy Blair sold that out, so he gets a spot here. Wanted to open a 90 year later pack. Steve Strauss filled that up. Basketball pack. Ryan Steele filled out. We're still looking for a kicker putter card. So whoever lands on a punter kicker card their name will go right here and then so on and so forth and then once we get all nine spots filled with names we'll randomize the list 
In first place on that list, we'll get a 1956 baseball set break spot and a BAM spot. Second place, we'll get a 55 baseball set break spot and a BAM spot. Third place, we'll get a 75 baseball set break spot and a BAM spot. And fourth through tenth, we'll all get 71 baseball set break spots and BAM spots. So that's what bingo's all about, uh, Matthew. Pretty straightforward. Um, and I'll check for what I have 78 wise. I've got, uh, I mean, well, I've got several vintage football. Uh, let's see here. The next, well, we just pulled an artist Gilmore, fresh pack fresh. So the next person spins a hundo will get this artist Gilmore 1970, or, well, 71, 72 year, but it says 70 on the back um, card. Next person spins a hundo will get that artist Gilmore 1970 card. All right, Matthew, well, let me know if you have any other questions. Let me pull my football box to see what I've got football-wise. And then we'll break this cloth back here in just a minute. All right, so I've got 78, 80. 78 the oldest I've got. I've got 82, 83, 84, 85, 86. Yeah, that's 86. Yep, that's what I got. I've got 89 score, and I've got 92. So if we do a 78, let me, let me, let me, let me check the site real quick, see what I can do. Let me see what I can do for the bounty. How many spots left are on 78? Okay, 78's not a very too expensive pack, so I can't go crazy with the bounty. But we will bounty it. Spots were in that left. I'll go ahead and just say it, and then everyone gets a ban in a second. Okay. Since so the, the values, you know, not, not the most expensive pack of the world. 7 8 football, if we sell it out, whoever, when I randomize the list, the first person on that list will get a 66 football, uh, Philadelphia football set break spot. Second through 14th, we'll all get BAM spots. First place will also get a BAM spot. So if we sell that out, everyone gets a BAM spot. And first person will get a 1976 football set break spot as well. In the meantime, let's break this cloth pack. And also whoever sells out the 78 pack will also get the spot on the big O board, which gives you an opportunity to win a 56 baseball set break spot. Welcome to Vintage Breaks. I'm your host, Charles G. for Vintage Breaks West. And tonight we're breaking a 1977 Tops cloth pack, 204. 204th one of these we've opened. Randomize our list nine times. Good luck to Sean and Double E. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. All right, Double E gets the first, and Sean Dooley gets the second one. Good luck, gentlemen. Uh, we've got a prediction. Our prediction looks like it's for Nolan Ryan for Double E. That's a pretty pretty strong prediction there. I like it. 
All right, Double E, first card underneath here is yours. Our prediction from Jeff Spellman is that it's a Ryan. The gum came away nice and clean. It is not Ryan, but it is card number one, Alan Ashby. And somebody's following us around tonight, guys. And it's a good person to have following us. So first card's Alan Ashby for double E. However, the second card for Mr. Sean Dooley, who predicted this card in our 78 pack earlier, is Thurman Mudson. And it's a little bit off center. But Thurman Munson. He's off center both directions a little bit. But 77 cloth Thurman Munson. And Sean predicted it earlier when we opened up 78 Opeachy that we'd find a Thurman Munson. And that's just creepy. Not a bad player to have following us around. Congratulations, Sean. And then uh, Double E will get the uh, the checklist. And that's going to wrap up our 77 Tops Cloth Pack 204 break. Thanks for watching. That's creepy, guys. It's a good hit. Nice hit. Both good cards. Card number one and a Thurman Munson. I mean, unfortunately, the back on Allen's got the gum damage on it, but it didn't bleed through. So the front of it presents really good. Yeah, the center on both cards, I mean, the Allen Ashby's a little bit further off center. Uh, the Munson's pretty close. Yeah, card number one's always a good card to get. And Thurman Munson's obviously a good card to get. Good cards, guys. Good cards. I think that might be our best... The best one, at least, I've opened here in the West. Double E got the 78 pack. Oh, let's see whose order comes through first. Ryan Steeler, double E. The fight for... Well, actually, there isn't a football spot here. It's just kicker, punter, goalie. But the first pack that so, that shows up on my dashboard is sold will be the first one I open. Meantime, I'll find 83 football. There's 83. Let's refresh here. Oh, it's after midnight. That's the problem. I'm on the wrong day now. There we go. Okay, double E did these bought first doubly e gets the artist Gilmore one two three four six seven eight 
Plus, you'll get a Mark Grace, Fred McGriff, Rhino, Crouched Fisk, Wizard of Oz, Eric Davis, Barry Bonds, and a Dale Murphy. Yeah, good cards all around, guys. Good cards all around. Ryan Steel the 83 pack. One, two, three, five. Look at you. Palmero, Carter, Fred McGriff, Cal Ripken, Wade Boggs. And uh, let's see here. Add a little vintage love for you. A gym tire. Didn't quite spin a hundo, but we'll get you a little something, something anyhow. Yeah, luck, you know, comes and goes sometimes. Let's see what we can get for you out of the 78 pack, though. Okay, we'll do the 78 pack, then we'll do the 83 pack. It's a 12 Carter. Ten. Another ten. I know I've got ones with twelve in here. There we go. Actually, this is a thirteen, isn't it? Well, we'll figure it out as we go, as I talk to myself. Yeah, Soto's nice. I actually, at Double I, I pulled one of those Sotos out of the case I broke. Um, yeah, it's on my, uh, I'm on the fence on selling or not since it's not a uh, rookie, but it is a beautiful card. All right, Eduardo, I'm going to give you all these prizes after I log off tonight since you sold it out. Well, you bought all of them, so. Yes. Yes. So that'll be my job tonight later. Also, the next person to spend a hundo will get this Rhino card. Rhino Rookie. Okay, I think I'm caught up on all my duties here. Yep, yep. Okay, we can break this now. Names off. Welcome to Vintage Rakes. I'm your host, Charlie G from Vintage Rakes West, and tonight we're breaking this 1978 Topps Football Wax Pack 268. Not quite a personal. We got a one spot hero in here, so we have to randomize our list 10 times. Good luck to Doubly, who's watching, and Michael Cook. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, Michael gets spot four, and Double E will get the rest. Good luck, gentlemen's. Yeah, Jeff, I bought a definitive case. I uh, broke it live and recorded it it's on my personal YouTube channel.
All right, Ryan, I'll, I'll check it out. Uh, if, if you spent... Uh... Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take care of you. All right, don't believe if you wouldn't mind, send me a message on Facebook, and I'll, uh, I'll we, we can talk about it. I'm, I might be happy to sell it. I'm trying to fund up for nationals. All right, first card right here for you. This is close enough to a personal for you, Double E. I'm going to give you the wrapper. This is a 15 spot, basically. Spot 15. Okay, here we go. Brad Van Pelt in spot one. Cool, sounds good, Double E. We're looking for a punter or kicker card. Brad Van Pelt. Got the Dolphins card with, let's see here, Benny Malone, Nat Moore, Curtis Johnson, A.J. Dune. Spot two for W. Yeah, W. I think the one I have is out of ten, if I remember correctly. Harold Carmichael. Spot three. And our one spot here for Michael gets Conrad Dobler. Steve Schubert. Rick Upchurch. Remember the rest of these are all go to double double E. Appreciate that, buddy. Not paying attention to the uh, safety. John Sanders. Larry Marshall. Lynn Haas. So far I haven't seen anybody in here that needs to be card saver. If there's somebody in here you want me card saver for you, Double E, just let me know. Tony Reed. Clyde Powers. Unfortunately, these are coming out a little off center. John Fitzgerald. John Matsuki. Okay. Matsu Mat 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 Matuzak. Not pronouncing that right, I'm sure. And our last card, Ken Reeves got some roller issues on him. And he's the lax card. And that wraps up our 1978 Tops Football Lax Pack number 268. Thanks for watching. Double E, that's probably not the 78 pack you were hoping for. Sorry, man. And no punter kicker card. I'll double check, but I don't think there was one. But you got a bunch of BAM spots and a 1966 Philly separate spot, so... Yeah, some good consolation prizes there. Oh, I forgot to give you the, put the team card or the uh, wrapper in here for you. All right, Jeff Spohn, you have a good night, sir, and we'll catch you next week. I'll probably also see you on the other shows as well.
better sorting is, I think, the uh, bane of all of us card collectors. I've sorted, and I've resorted, and I've sorted again, and it can always be better. But Sean, if, I mean, if you need some help, I could just come and take them all and never give them back. Awesome. Sounds good, Double E. Well, next up, we've got this 83 for Mr. Steel. Oh, yeah, Ryan, I took care of you with the, um... I don't remember which card I gave you, but, uh... Yeah, Ryan, I hooked you up with the gym tire card earlier with for your purchase. There will be a punter in this pack. All right. Double E has called it. This is a personal for Ryan Steele. That makes it easy. What's going on here? Um, I like you, Charles, so maybe a couple cards, but don't make me go full water boy on you. <laughs> oh, Sean, you know I'm a really, I mean, my collection's fairly small that I actually keep for myself. Cubs, vintage... Cubs, and that's pretty much it. I've got a couple little things I've collected here and there, but my actual PC wants are pretty minimal. All right, let's get this one started here. All right, everybody, welcome to Vintage Breaks. I'm your host, Charlie G from Vintage Breaks West, and we're breaking a 1983 Tops football wax pack, number 158. This one's a personal for Ryan Steele, so he's going to get every card that we find in this pack. Hopefully we find some bangers. Um, I'm going to need some help with... Uh, I forgot to look it up, and I don't remember. Hey, what's going up, Mr. Tippin? Our man from Reno. Uh, Ryan, this pack's not opening cleanly, but I'll still give it to you. Brad, I'm still sad we don't have any more scoops left in stock. I'm hoping Layton could find another box of scoops. I love that product. Although those POTUS cards, you weren't here for... I opened one of those POTUS packs. And um, those POTUS packs were pretty cool. Reminded me a little bit of them. All right. Carl Hairston. Alan Singletary, okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Carl Harrison. Hairston. Matt Blair, centering's okay, a little off, but not the greatest. Oops. Well, here we go. Mr. Walter Payton, sweetness himself, for the Bears. Let me, let me, let me, let me top loader this, this, the sweetness. Definitely a later year card, but Walter Payton. Dub Bears. 
Jim Plunkett. Charles Alexander. Charlie Joyner. I believe he's worth top loading. He's a little pretty off center, but still Charlie Joyner. Got Ozzie Newsom sticker. Off centered. There we go. We got our kicker, Mike Lansford. Rocking the 80s porn stash. All right, let's get Ryan Steele on the board here. All right, guys, you got we got to be looking at getting a goalie card and selling out a wrestling or Star Wars pack, guys, in 38 minutes. Oops. Steve Creeter. Carl Birdsong. New England Patriots, Tony Collins. Willie Teal. John Hill. And I forgot that the sticker was extra in this one, but since it's personal, it doesn't matter. The last card is Pat Tilly. And that wraps up our 1983 Tops Football Wax Pack 158 with a sweetness in it for Ryan Steele. Thanks for watching. All right, hockey up next. Get ourselves a goalie card. Catch up on some sales. Looked like we had a couple purchases made. If I can get the cards in the bag, that is sometimes a challenge. There we go. Okay, ducky. Let's see what you what you guys have done in the purchasing departmento. Okay, eighty six tops hockey. And that purchase will get you the Rhino. Also get you... Also get you the Donnie Mattingly, Tim Raines, Eddie Murray, Rich Gossage, Robin Yount, Kirby Puckett, and a McGuire.
just can't let go of that paint. <laughs> I, hey, I, I, who doesn't who doesn't love the sweetness? It's hard not to be a fan of such an iconic player. See Rusty getting to getting into a couple bonuses here before the night runs out. Okay, let's get this pack set up to a break. Another personal for Ryan Steele. All right, we're going to find a goalie card here. That is what we want to find. Well, we want to find a... Uh, um, a Roy rookie, but... Uh, we also want to find a... Is Roy a goalie, too? Am I acting really dumb? I don't know. Welcome to Vidge Breaks. Our host, Charlie G. for Vidge Breaks West. And tonight, we're breaking a 1986 Topps Hockey Wax Pack 133. It's a personal for Ryan Steele. Good luck, sir. First card's right here. You get all of them, so it doesn't matter. Nicely wrapped bazooka gum. We'll give you the wrapper as well once we're done here. Up first, we've got Bob Murray. Pretty good center. A little bit off both directions, but not too bad. Glenn Anderson. He wasn't a goalie, was he? No. Steve, Steve, Stan, Smile. I'm also got these card saver numbers in the wrong order, but it's personal, so it doesn't matter. Stan, Smile. Michael Goulet. Thomas Johnson. Tom Barso. Now he's dressed up at a. Oh, it's G. Goalie. Yeah. Duh. Yeah. So he's a goalie. Tom Barasso. Brasso. Goalie. So let's get you your bingo spot here before I forget. All right, guys. We have everything filled up but the wrestling or Star Wars pack. I will open that up to any non-big three. So, not football, not baseball, not hockey, and not football. That was big four. Okay? So, anything else that we have on the site that's not baseball, football, basketball, or hockey. It doesn't even have to be something that I open on Vintage Breaks West. Any product on the website that doesn't meet those four criteria in the next 29 minutes 
I'll give away the bingo board. Otherwise, bingo will explode. Yeah, goalie. Oh, that was, that was his rookie card too? Well, let's, let's, uh... Yes, Charles, I do have the green Star Wars works. I've got green and purple. Apparently that's his rookie card. And that was up next. Mike Ramsey. You get the helmet stickers, so throw those in. Oh, wrong year. Well, he's he's now card savered, so... <laughs> I'm not going to take your card saver back now that he's not a rookie. Dave Bobia. Mark Napier. Jim Peplinski. Perry Turnbull. Brian Mullen. All right, Mr. Perry, then you'll get the last spot on the bingo board. Brian Engelbaum. Engelblom. Engelboom. Brian. We'll call him Brian. Peter Stansky. Peter Stans. Peter. Call him Peter. And our last card, Mike Fulgano. Don't think we pulled anybody you're really lucky for, but we did get a goalie card to get you on the bingo card for this evening. And that wraps up our 1986 Tops Hockey Pack 133. Thanks for watching. Oh, itchy nose, guys. Sorry. Okay. Let's just check what's going on over here. Rusty. Here's Mr. Perry. Um, I didn't put up another $100 bonus, but let's see what I got here. Let's see what I got. First, we'll take care of these guys. Six. Dennis Eckersley, Dave Henderson, Oral Horsheiser, Jim Rice, Joe Carter, and a Tony Gwynn. And, um, uh, what's this guy here? How about an immaculate Ryan O'Hearn? We'll throw that in there for you. Okay, and a green Star Wars pack. Green is Force Theories, correct? Or is that purple?
Yeah, four series is the green one. Not quite personal. We got JJ Grubay here as a one spotter for you. I got to make uh, <clears throat> top loaders here for you. Give me just a moment. Alright, we're looking for some how you do in action. Welcome to Vintage Breaks, I'm your G for Vintage Breaks West, and we're looking for some 1937 Star Wars Force Series pack 142. 141 of these have been broken already, and we're looking for how you do in C3PO. Not quite a personal pack, so we've got to randomize our list five times. JJ Grubay and Charles Perry, good luck, fellas. And five. All right, JJ's good to get spot six. Charles Perry gets the rest, plus Charles Perry sold us out, and he'll fill up our last spot in the bingo board. Get this spot filled in here. Okay, I'll take that off since it's filled up now. Oops. And uh, we'll give away that here in just a minute. All right, first card, Troy Charles, right there. Let's see if we can find the how you doing. Well, that's a good start right there. That gum is truly disgusting. Charles, I'm going to give you the wrapper since it's almost personal. A really nice sticker on top here. It's pretty well centered. Unfortunately, you know, gum carts, these are super hard to grade. But a Mr. Skywalker sticker, card number one for you. Ben Kenobi, card number two. Unfortunately, very off centered. Which plagues this set. Card number two, Ben Kenobi. Card number three. I'm going to regret this with C3PO and Art 2 D2. Pretty well centered. Got a little bit of a maybe a little bit of touch on the side. But has some print dots, which this set also was plagued by. Little fish eyes. Card number four. Four, discussing the Death Star's future. One second. Oh, got something in my. Oh. A great scene in the movie, "The Swing to Freedom," spot five for Charles. Pretty well centered. Probably the best centered card so far. It's got a couple print dots, but. Oh man. Sean Dooley wouldn't have one. What do you mean? The Rebel Troops. 
This is J.J. Gervais' card. A little bit off-center. It's got a, a dent, it looks like, in the upper right-hand side. But ending scenes of the movie. We got Luke Skywalker, the match to the sticker. Spot 7, very off-center, unfortunately. Oh, Death, Death Star's future. And we did get a C-3PO, but it's not the how you doing card. It's the landscape of C-3PO searches for his counterpart when he loses R2-D2. A little off-center. Great pack. And that wraps up our 1977 Star Wars 4 Series Pack 142. Thank you for watching. Yeah, that... Um, yeah, I'm going to regret this is pretty good. It's got some print dots. But the swing to freedom. It does have a print dot on it. But the swing to freedom card, uh, Charles, I, I, I would consider grading. Maybe you take a closer look at it and make a decision for yourself. But the Swing to Freedom card is pretty nice. All right, Charles, we'll get the wrapper. All right, guys, we've got 17, well, 16 minutes left to make purchases to get into the bonuses that are running tonight. Actually, I think the only bonus that's still active is the $3 all-night one. Um, so we got a couple minutes to buy to that or to buy out any break for me to a break for you fine folks. been a pretty good night again for you guys who weren't here earlier just want to because I'm so excited about it I'm gonna show it off again for those of you who weren't here earlier when I showed this off this is a my recent addition to my collection that came in the mail a couple days ago 1923 Willard Willard's chocolates v100 Johnny Evers SGC3, one of only 12 graded copies between SGC and PSI. Five higher. Real photograph of Mr. Johnny Evers. Still see a little bit of the remnants of what came out of the packaging candy bar. Some sort of confectionery product. Beautiful card. Very happy to have gotten it. If that top left corner wasn't bent over, that'd be a really good card. Actually, it's a really good card as is, but super happy to get that one. It's like showing off my kids. <laughs> so who in the chat's going to be at the Nationals? So it's sort of winding down the evening for the next 15 minutes. Cody, uh, we didn't pull anything f absolutely fantastic. Were you here earlier when I was showing off this? I don't know if you were here earlier when I was showing off this. My latest acu 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 acquisition. Nice, Charles. Can't wait. Uh, I do have more Star Wars. I've got... Um, I've got at least two, two of the purple ones and one more green one. Yeah, Cody, see, that's one of only 12 graded examples that exist between SGC and PSA. Only five higher. I picked that up a couple weeks ago. That was the pre-war card I, keep, I talked about a couple weeks ago that I wanted to show everyone when it came in. Very stoked to get that. I'll post a nice picture over to the buy sell trade forum for everybody to see. But I want to show my Vintage Breaks West family first before I show the rest of the Vintage Breaks buy sell trade community. 
we could break whatever you guys want in the next 13 minutes, or we could just chat. So Charles Perry is going to be coming to the uh, Nationals. Who else is coming to Nationals that's in the chat room? <laughs> that's right, Craig. USPS is in the house. Air all your grievances about the Postal Service to Cody C. He will not do anything about it, but he'll commiserate with us. Oh Craig, you're a you're a USPS man too. We have two postal service people that are VB watchers now. So Craig, now now that I know you're 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 not only my neighbor, but you're also a USPS person in my part of the world, I can air my grievances directly to you. <laughs> yeah, let me see. Let me. Do I still have the box that card came in? I don't know if I threw it or not. It's... I think I already threw away the box that card came in. It was pretty pretty mashed up. At least it was packed well. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder what happens to our packages when they're in the mail. That's why it's important to pack your cards properly, folks. I know I've given more than one lesson on this this, this to my show on how to properly pack cards. It does not cost very much to pack a card properly. Charles Perry, man, the, the your visa fraud protection must be on high alert. You're, you're a common customer here. They shouldn't, shouldn't have any worry about that. German Shepherds are sweet dogs. That's right, no big deal, Mr. Perry. We've had a good night. No problem hanging out. So is Charles Perry the only person that's in the chat room that's going to be at Nationals? <laughs> Two German Shepherds jumping out at the same time might be a little rough, uh, Cody. They they are big big dogs. So it might be a good thing that his brother hasn't warmed up to you. Actually, let me uh, hold on a second. And yes, I'm wear I'm wearing pants. <laughs> the redemption yeah that's not it oh, come on. 
I forget, was it Double E? Who was looking for Juan Soto's? So these these prices are the price I have for when I go to the show to sell these cards. But I do have a Juan Soto rookie card, gold label framed, one of 75. That's a Topps Redemption card. Wet the Redemption card, still sealed. And then the uh, definitive that I have, this is the one I was referring to, is a 1 of 10 gold framed 2021 definitive card number 1 of 10, Juan Soto Auto. So, I think it was Double E that was interested in Juan Soto autographs. So those are the two that I was talking Well, this is the one we were specifically talking about, and I forgot that I had this one too. So hit me up. They're both for sale. And those prices are the uh, show prices, not Vintage Breaks friends and family prices. All right, Eddie, yeah, I can send you a better picture of both of them just so you, you know, can see them. Since we had a little downtime and I knew where they were. Also, Craig, since you're local, um, you could come see me at the card show on July 3rd. It's kind of a Midtowny area, uh, north of Midtown, I guess. It's at the uh, VFW or... If you give me a second, I can find the uh, ad. Craig, are you a member of our um, Vintage Breaks Buy, Sell, Trade forums? Because if you are, I, po I, I usually post the, uh, well, I'll post the um, address there. No, don't don't change. I want to be there. So uh, yeah, Craig. So anybody's in the Phoenix area, I'll be set set up at this show on July third. So July third at the VFW at eight oh four East Purdue, VFW ninety four hundred. They actually have beer and food they serve there too. But I'll be I'll be there for anyone who's in the Phoenix metro area. Gonna come by and check out, and be sure to mention you're a vintage breaks person, and I will uh, make you a better deal than whatever I have shown. So yeah, so I'll be at that show, Craig. Be sure to check that out. Yeah, Craig McDonald. Just uh, search on Facebook for vintage breaks buy sell trade. Um, it's a private group, but it just request, and I'll uh, I'll accept your request because um, I'll recognize your name yeah lots lots of deals go down there modern to vintage to ten dollar deals to multi thousand dollar deals so lots of good people there and that show that I mentioned same kind of deal they have also all sorts of price points I'm bringing cards as little as five dollars a card up to multi thousand dollar cards No problem, Craig. Always happy to try to grow the card community. All right, last call, guys. You got three minutes to go. I believe the only thing that I'll have to give away tonight, at the end of the night, is the three dollar all night bonus. Don't believe there's anything else that ends this evening. Double check. Yep, that's the only thing I have to give away tonight. 
Oh, I forgot about the bingo card. Let's go ahead and give away the bingo card. It's, it's closed out. Thank you, Steve. I thought I, I thought I'd already done that, but I have not. Okay, you get this copied over here. <laughs> yeah, Steve, you've got, uh, what, two spots in here, one spot in here? Uh, Cody, see, I'm not sure that's possible. Vegas! Let's go to Vegas. I love a piece of Vegas. All right. If I could spell bingo correctly. All right, everybody, welcome to Vintage Breaks. We're host Charlie G for Vintage Breaks West, and we're giving away our bingo card prizes. We've filled up the bingo card, all nine spots. We have names next to them, and we're going to give away these prizes. I have copied those names and prizes over to this screen, so I'm going to take away the bingo card from the screen. We're going to randomize this list. We're going to randomize the list seven times. First person on the list will get a 56 baseball set break spot and a BAM spot. Second place will get a 55 baseball set break spot and a BAM spot. Third place will get a 75 baseball set break spot and a BAM spot. And fourth through tenth will all get 71 baseball set break spots and BAM spots. Actually, it's not through tenth and through ninth, but close enough. Seven times in the random. Let's go. Good luck. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, and our winners at seven are Billy Blair gets first and second, Charles Perry gets third, Billy Blair gets fourth, Steve Stroth gets fifth, and then Ryan Steele, Ryan Steele, Ryan Steele, and Billy Blair. Congratulations, everyone. That's our winners for the prizes tonight. Thank you for participating. I'll insert those prizes into your accounts later this evening or tomorrow morning. All right, we got that taken care of. Not sure he does photography work on the side. He's been sent there. <laughs> there probably is. I know one of my one of the guys at work's daughters. Uh, is always going to Vegas for various cheer competitions, so he's probably he'll probably be up there this weekend too. All right, last call. Speak now, forever. Hold your P's and Q's. Otherwise, we're going to give away this three dollar all night promo. And I am going to go to bed. Oops. <laughs> well, thanks for sticking out, Billy. We've got one more thing to give away. We're going to give away our $3 all-night promo. Uh, welcome to Vintage Breaks. I'm your host, Charlie G from Vintage Breaks West, and we're giving away our $3 all-night promo. First person on the list will get a $50 break credit. Every $3 you spent got you an entry. Good luck to everyone. We've got ourselves aces. Two on the uh, dice roll. Oops. Good luck to everyone. Two times. One. And two. Tyler Rogers with the $50 break credit. <coughs> Congratulations, Tyler. I will be giving you that break credit here in a few minutes. Thank you to everyone who participated. All right, let me do that real quick here before I close that window. Was Tyler the new person that was here earlier? <laughs> it 
Actually, Ty Tyler was the. I think Tyler was the new person. Yeah, Ty Tyler signed up for an account today. It looks like. Congratulations, Tyler. I don't know if you're still watching, but you won a fifty dollar break credit. Oops. Okay. Okay. You have a great night, Billy. Thanks for hanging out with us. Maybe we'll catch you next time. All right, everybody, you guys all have a wonderful night. Thank you for hanging out for Vintage Breaks West. Check us out next Wednesday at 9.30 Eastern Standard Time. We're going to do movie trivia. I normally do 80s movies, but I'm thinking about doing a 70s movie or a 90s movie next week. We give out $10 break credit for answering questions correctly. Don't have to buy anything. You can just answer questions correctly and get some break credit. So check us out next week, 9.30 to 1 a.m for trivia and some breaks everybody have a great night stay safe out there and be nice to each other and i'll catch you next week thanks guys